Well, I was busy updating websites, and, um, you know, what I did was on this one here, Marion Light Artillery, um, I put a brick face on it. So there's brick. And, hey, that's pretty cool. So got the idea from other website I was working on, too. Um, looks a little bit better. Kind of like the stone wall of uh, Confederate heritage, right? <laughs> I guess, man, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't look bad. I'm not a professional, but, you know, I learn. And um, this one is a website. I, it's part of Marion Light Artillery, but it's uh, it's uh, the camp up in Albany, Georgia. I drove up to Georgia a few times for so many events. They got their own blog on the website and stuff. I want to add some more things to this. And I'm always adding a little bit here and there. So it does get updated here and there. You probably want to look at the article. So this one, I added a stone and wood look. It's not bad. I mean, really, you know, you look at this. And, eh, it does a little thing there. And um, added, like, stone wall there. And these articles are... These are these are good articles. There's a lot of information in here, like um, Robert E. Lee, a great American, opens up an article, and you can download them and stuff. So it's pretty good. And I worked in this one too. This is something um, W. R. Milton Camp. This is the camp that's uh, closest to where the statue is coming in, the Kirby Smith statue in Florida. So they're tasked with uh, you know making sure the statue goes through and stuff and got oh you know some things on here this is a lot there's a lot of information here too um um let me see there's i think it's yeah here it is yeah the lake county florida cemeteries confederates so you got a heroes page here and so you have here's the cemeteries it's got a list of all of them here and you can go to like you know what it is and who's in it and all this there's actually a lot of Confederates. A lot of Confederates in this area. A lot of people aren't aware of this because they just come down here and they live in an HOA, gated community, veterans' names. Right here, Lake County. Nita will do one for Marion County, too. Should be a lot over in Marion County for sure. And you got the pension application numbers. So. What Dulles has here, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of information. So, and I back these sites up, so hopefully if nothing goes wrong with them. Anyway, but uh, here you got the application for, I got it already filled out, Sons of Confederate Veterans, so you can, this would be for the Albany camp. I think it's already pre-filled out. I set this up, or maybe I didn't pre-fill it out. That's just a generic application. So anybody up in Georgia wants to use that one, it's a good clear application. You got some inspirational videos. Some of these are on YouTube from other channels. This is some stuff I filmed up there. And um it's uh, you know, it's quite a bit. I think next year, um provided there's no stupid virus going you know, I think this crap's going a lot longer. You know, it's uh one of them gates things, right? And other things, other things going on. It's not really a virus, but you know, I think it's going to crank back up again, probably September, October. This event for Captain Wirtz here, this one right here, um, this is something that occurs every year. It's been going on. I don't know how many years now. They started start. It's been a tradition. It's been going on a number of years. So last year they had, you know, 2019 they had Dr. Albert Winkler. Um, Plus the grandson of Captain Wirtz from Switzerland, the grandson of Captain Wirtz from Georgia. Of course, they had different accents, and it's uh, from different parts of the world. But they're both the grandson of Captain Wirtz, and he had the MOSB commanders, military or store of stars and bars commanders talking up there. But I'm gonna probably do this is a transcript of the speech. Yeah, there's the Georgia commander from MOSB, and there's a there's the grandson of Captain Henry Wirtz, MOSB overall commander. Here's the other grandson, Colonel Heinrich Wirtz. What I'm going to probably do is, um, like this thing you can make, like here you got Captain Wirtz. I could do a sub-menu, Captain Wirtz 2020. And um, so when you click this on, it'll, it'll pop up a sub-menu, and it can cl you can click that, and it'll go another page. So when I do that for 2020 next year, we can, uh, you know, depending on if everything just keeps continuing normal, 
who the hell knows? <laughs> I really don't know what's happening here, man, I can tell you. But, you know, in lieu of, and I've been trying to upload on BitChute. I've been trying, you know, it's. I think the BitChute's getting overloaded. Um, there's a few times, I got one video uploaded in the last couple of days. There's three of them I was trying to do, and I'm doing it over and over again. I'm like, God. So, I might want to check that out. I think they're getting overloaded because of all the restrictions on YouTube. People are just getting the hell out. They're just jumping ship, man. So, that's the way it goes. Right? That's the way it goes, man. And, uh, of course, I update the blog on this thing. This is the latest blog ent entry was for the Florida Division 50th Reunion. So, I'll be going to that. I should be going to it. I plan to go to it. And, you know, I put nice little graphics in there with the Canon hard hard chargers only. <laughs> Pretty cool. cool huh? So, the application, the map. A pretty good job on this stuff, actually. You know, the thing is, um, like, I'm not just an accountant. I'm not, I guess, yeah, I'm still an accountant because I work for the CPA firm, like, one or two days a week. And it's like, failure is not, incomplete or failure, incomplete information or failure is not an option. I mean, especially when you're dealing, you just can't be freaking, I don't, I don't leave nothing to chance. I don't, you know, I try to make things look more professional. I'm not a website builder. You know, but actually doing websites is more up my line than freaking doing videos on YouTube. I can tell you that right now, because at least the website something that has information on it more than YouTube is like all video stuff, man. It's like really, it's like the people that really, well, they probably got, they don't like me on YouTube. I know that. I know Susan, or whatever it is, they got me throttled back like crazy. Like I'm just one of the regular people they just don't like. But um, even when before that time, I'm not a professional person with this uh, video stuff. And it's like, I don't really care about making something glitzy so people attracts people's attention and stuff. I just get the raw information out there. But when it comes to actually writing something uh, or presenting something in a logical fashion that's on a piece of paper or something like that, and you can figure that this, a website is sort of like a piece of paper... I will actually, you know, try to make a better effort on this, and uh, I don't mind doing these websites too much. I've done several, actually, in the last few months, and this one I just keep adding to it. I'm probably going to, I got the domain Synergy7.com already bought. There's nothing on there yet. I might get that going in a few months, and I think the topic of discussion is going to be about longevity and reverse aging, and probably this HHO a lot the stuff I've been putting up a lot on YouTube um, I think there's a lot more to it than they're ever going to admit and I, it's something something that's not really well studied yet it's just that I think it's got more potential than the rat study that they talked about with the carbon C60 I think the HHO is going to go way beyond that and that's why I'm doing a lot of it so and my elliptical machine, I haven't been using it much, but I took the the arm things off of it because they get in the way. I don't like the arm things on this particular one I got at home. But the, just using the leg parts, if I had some time, I could freaking use that thing three or four hours a day. I feel pretty good. I think I could use that thing and just crank it out and just, I'd be in pretty good shape after if I was doing it three or four hours a day. But we shall see. I feel like I got pretty good energy and I feel pretty strong. So... And this was the SCV, this is um, SCV-141 blog, it's, uh, which they are actually the uh, Lieutenant Colonel M. Nelson's Rangers. So, uh, you know, I'm surprised that uh, I personally would not use Facebook for anything, man, on these websites. A lot of the camps use Facebook. Even the Georgia Division Sons of Confederate Veterans use it, the Florida Division. And they have websites, and they use Facebook also. But um, you know what I would recommend for somebody? If they were going to not want to use a website because it's complicated, it is. It is. I mean, even the simple stuff, it's not that simple if you don't know it. it take, there's a learning curve. And Facebook actually is easier to use and stuff like that, but... It's garbage when if you don't have 
people logged on to Facebook, because even if you make it public, it's got this big screen that comes in front of you. Do you want to log in and stuff? Like, it's, it's it just gets in your way. It's not really, it blocks like the one-third of the bottom of the screen, right? And I'm like, that's ridiculous. So, I don't like it, you know. I really don't like Facebook at all. Um, for, for like, but, you know, it's free. But the other thing that's free, the other thing that's free is um, if you use a WordPress blog, just use the free WordPress blog. WordPress blog. You get down. I mean, there's a lot of limits you have with it. I mean, you can't put like big media. You can't put media files on there and stuff. But you can put PDFs, and the PDFs can be very rich and and uh, with you know pictures and things like that. You could do that, and you can post pictures and stuff. So it's it's far. I think the WordPress blog is far better than Facebook. And then, you know, later on, you can always upgrade to, a, upgrade to a WordPress website and get a domain. So, you know, I mean, I guess you could do that with Facebook, too. But, I mean, I personally can't stand Facebook. And, you know, I, I really didn't give a crap about YouTube because they're, until they started paying me money. But they ain't paying me no money now, so I don't really care too much. But I just like keeping people posted on different things. Um... And, of course, they beg for money on here because you can go to my BitChute account and you want to put some couple dimes in there, fine, appreciate it, five, ten bucks, whatever. I'm on, I don't have any PayPal on YouTube. I only have it on BitChute. But um, I think when I set up my Synergy7.com, yeah, I'm going to have a PayPal button up there. And, you know, maybe it's going to be kind of risky because some of the information I want to put out on there, I'm going to dig into this HHO a lot. And... Also with the power zapper and the frequencies and and I think it could pretty much make you know pharmaceutical flat out obsolete between the frequencies and the HHO and the spooky scalar pretty much pharmaceuticals could be obsolete and I don't know how am I going to present this because it's dangerous to do that you know because you know it's like it's going to be my own website it's not going to even be YouTube but the thing is, right now, YouTube has got it whereby, you know, they're trying to make me, you know, 110% responsible for every damn thing I put up here. And it's like, they got no liability, you know, I don't know, or whatever, you know. But, you know, if I'm 110% responsible, why are they freaking limiting what I could say, right? You know what I mean? Because they don't want the information out there if I'm telling them something, you know, you can't talk about vitamin C, you know, whatever, God. Anyway. So I like putting up this, I like changing this a little bit. It's a simple change. I, put the, I got the idea because when I did this uh, one over here, just to kind of make it a little more pretty, is um, I put some bricks on the back of it when I updated it. And um, also did a little bit on a camp calendar, which is uh, just put a little background with the, Flags and a guy riding, I, think it's, I don't know who's riding a horse there, <laughs> General Lee or no, probably Stonewall Jackson or something. I don't know, but uh, just to jazz it up. And I got the so I couldn't make I had a watch though because you when, you when you do these things, you put these backgrounds. If the if I made these bricks darker color or brownish color, you wouldn't be able to read this. Maybe I could make them a slightly tan color, maybe you could read it then. But you can't make this background image too dark because there's all these words here. Like on the one I have here, um, it's like the letters are bigger. But then also I have it like this. These I got these blocks where the, um, you know, it doesn't, it, the bricks aren't in there. So it doesn't, you know, you can see it like this. So, I mean, this is only a site pad site, but. I don't know how to. I don't know how this other site was made. I can't freaking edit this other site that well. It's like maybe I can. I don't know. Somebody asked me to fix this thing today, so I did. You know, I did did fix it, updated it. But I probably could do some more with this. But this this thing is, you know, it's only 20 megs. It's free site. It's like you know, <laughs> I think it's right about 20 megs right now. So it's it, the site's pretty much full. But I could probably do a little bit more with it. But I'm a little afraid to mess with it. I got it straightened out, so the hell with it. Leave it alone. And 
this one, like I got going back, this is another site I have, uh, confederate-heritage.com. And I update this stuff once in a while. As a matter of fact, I put I had to put this on your River Rally Point. Remember when my flags were blowing in the opposite direction? I had Boots the Cat and Dixie the Cat. I put that up there. I thought that was cute. That that picture was freaking weird. How his flags were blowing in opposite directions? I was like, that's cool. So, Rebel Rally Point. So, actually, the United States War of 1776. It was mainly won in the South. A lot of people don't know that. There's a lot of um, Marxist communist indoctrination out there big time so it goes back a long ways believe me it's not just the, it's not just from the 60s on it's actually from even before not just from the 1960s on it's actually from even before the 1860s that's when it started over here I think like around 1850 1848 so it goes back a ways man you know, I don't quite agree with this part, like Christian values, because uh, I'm not exactly Christian. Um, you know, I could say I lean Jewish, but I'm not really Jewish either. But it's, uh, I say Western Roman values, but they're pretty much, that's pretty much the same thing. You know, I don't know what the hell they mean. So... I thought this was looking all right. I just kind of liked the way it looked. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, it, took, was, it actually took me a while to freaking do this. I mean, freaking few hours. You know, partly because I'm using a slow-ass computer, but, you know. <laughs> but I liked, you know, I liked the stone and the wood. It, looked, it makes it look better. It makes it look better. It's, uh, it's, and it's not, it's not overly complex where it doesn't load fast and, there's a lot of information on here because all these are good articles. They're several pages long, but they're not that they're not too long. None of them are that so long that you know you, you couldn't read them in 15 minutes or something. So a lot of people won't read them anyway. So <laughs> anyway, and uh, so just figured to update. I update. Uh, so I haven't been. I have been busy. This is one of the things I was doing, but this this ate up a lot of time today. And uh, you know. Here's my cat here, Feather. You better not watch it. You better watch. Don't step on that cord and mess up my microphone here, boo-boo. She's walking by me right now, so. <laughs> I was looking at my Gold Digger videos, and I was like, I remember, I was of those videos. She came by, Fe Feather came by, the fluffy cat that was mainly black, but had some mahogany-colored brown. That was her. And she had a real fluffy tail. I said, I think I'm going to name her Feather. <laughs> I was like, that was before I even knew. She must have had her kittens by then. But I didn't see any of the kittens till like June. But she was coming over here before. And um, I was feeding her. And I, you know what? If I wasn't feeding her, her kittens would have never survived either. Even right from day one. I didn't realize that stuff, man. God. So I guess he didn't, too, didn't do too bad. Anyway, so, and you know, I like these things, it's like, you know, I can tell you one thing is, a lot of people won't do this stuff, because they start to do it, then they don't finish it, or they don't keep it updated, that's the thing, like me, I keep this thing updated, I got, you know, all these different things on here posted, you know, all, I mean, I just update stuff, they're colorful, they got impact, it's like you got a place where you can go that you can see what's going to be happening and all this kind of garbage. And uh, with maps and explanations and, you know, all kinds of junk. So I'm like, you know, I'm a stickler for accuracy and presenting something in completeness, in, in being completely, you know, complete, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people just don't do that shit. And that's, that's their downfall because... Uh, or they just do it for like a couple of days and they quit. But you know, I've been doing this. I've been doing accounting for a lot of years, and uh, the kind of people I work for, they're not forgiving. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> they want to know where their money is. They want to know this. They want to know that. They want this. You never know what the hell they're gonna ask you, man. And then you know, one day they're all smiles, and ten minutes later, like somebody tells them something, and it's like, hey, what's this? They want to know from. 
they, they, they're all over me, man. I'm like, I gotta find out all this shit that happened or something. I'm like, God. So, you know, I lived in a world that I don't think anybody in the SCV has any clue what the hell, how aggressive business people can be. Because if these people were even half as aggressive as the, as the people I work for, we'd be making a lot of inroads, man. I just They're not that aggressive. That's the problem. You know, too many uh, hoorah, 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 passing out words to each other and patting themselves on the back and stuff. I mean, God, not all of them are like that, but, I mean, there's a lot of that going on. Actually, the mission is, well, just like they told you, I think, on this thing right here, to you sons of Confederate veterans, we submit the vindication of the cause for which we fought. To your strength, we have given the defense of the Confederate soldier's good name, the guardianship of his history, the emulation of his virtues, the, the per 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 perpetuation of those principles he loved, which made him glorious and which you also cherish. Remember, it is your duty to see that the true history of the South is prevented, presented to future generations. Which means you need to get online. Which means you got to get you need to register with Wikipedia. You got to you know fix the articles. You got to get on Trip Tripopedia and talk about you know if anybody says something bad about a Confederate memorial on Tripopedia, you got to counter at counter that. You got to write letters to the editors. You have to uh, get a Twitter account. I mean, I have a Twitter account. I don't want really to use it for nothing except defending her Confederate heritage. You want to use Craigslist for freaking ads. You want to use newspaper ads. You want to get billboards. As a matter of fact, this website, Marion Lauder Artillery, I have a huge six-foot banner and a mini billboard coming. Um, I already made the mini billboard, but I have another six-foot banner that's going to have this on there, Marion Lauder Artillery with a Confederate flag and a cannon on the side, dot com. So, when we're at events, people will be aware of this website. And then when we have the events, I can, you know, um, go ahead and film them, put them up on YouTube and stuff. So, and you know, if my account gets deleted, I'll just freaking put the damn videos up on some other channel or whatever the hell it is and relink them to this junk, you know, that's what I'll do. But... It's not hard to link them. I don't even know if they... I have no clue what YouTube wants anymore. It's like... No clue. No clue. Their guidelines are ridiculous. So, I mean... I mean, I'm not going to concern... I'm not going to worry about it, you know? It's like, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, but who the hell knows? You never know with these people, man. So... One year, it's fine. The next year, it's not. So... And... <laughs> My stupid congressman, he ain't going to do nothing about it. He's a piece of crap, so none of them are. None of them are any good, so. But I'm just going to keep going with the flow, and I'll be using this media to, you know. They probably they probably demonetize me for this Confederate stuff more than anything, I can imagine. Probably that's what the main reason is. They can't freaking have that. Yeah, right. Don't you, freak, you guys in Hollywood, you you be the you rich people in Hollywood, you be the first ones to be owner slaves. I can guarantee you that. No, nope, no, nope, don't doubt about it. So anyway, over and out. Just figured to give you a presentation here real quick. People are freaking so hypocritical. It's amazing. But yeah, I like the bricks. <laughs> Where's those bricks at? Here, I can't remember. The bricks, the bricks, the, the bricks in the wood. It's pretty good. Just the front page, and just put the bricks on there. Looks pretty good, man. It's kind of pain in the ass doing this stuff, though. I'm telling you the truth. It's tedious. It's tedious. There's a lot of, uh, sometimes you just can't put bricks, you know, because there's all these little squares and shit. You, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's sometimes you just can't just click the whole thing and do it, you know. And sometimes you got to go in there and do a whole bunch of them, and that's what I had to do with these things, so. But it looks it looks good. I really like it. I like it. And um, it's a lot more work than you think sometimes. It's just how it is. And you know, I'm telling you, most people, most people in this, you know, I'm telling you, man, I don't know. They they, they do various things. But most people, I think, in in this organization, the SCV, they're not going to do this kind of shit that I'm doing. Unless they're getting paid. 
you know. I'm sure some people are getting paid for this shit, but I'm doing it for free. So, anyway. Yeah, but I like that it comes out. So, hopefully, uh, we get a site up here called Synergy7.com. You know, I got the domain. Um, once I get once I purchase the web space, I might have a pretty good kick-ass site. And uh, I'll be begging for money on that, too. It's, it's like, you know, I look at it like this. I could just be doing uh, accounting work and making somebody a shitload of money. And they'll probably be evil as all hell, which is usually the way it works. And I'll be making them a lot of money so they can do more evil. Or I could stay on here and try to do some good, but then i got to make some money. So that's why I'm asking for money, you know. But I only got PayPal on BitChute, which is on, you know, Synergy7.com. Synergy7 BitChute. And, you know, it's like I wish a lot of different people would be, you know, given a little bit here and there instead of the same ones. Because uh, I think that's unfair to the same ones. You know, which would be first time people that never gave, that gave me some money. But I want to try to get some more information about this HHL. I swear to God, I think it's the best thing going. But the information is highly buried. And I think when we get on with the Synergy7.com, when that gets up and running, I'm going to be talking a lot more about the parasapper frequencies, the HHO, the nutrition, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I might be working out four hours a day on an elliptical thing, too. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Because once I get this Canon project done and some other things with the El Camino, I'll probably just be a workout fiend. Because I don't give a shit. That's me. <laughs> you know? That's uh, just how it is, man. So. And, yeah, this site also has the Sons of American Revolution articles. Loads of them. So every day I get an email. And um, it tells me there's a new day, you know, a new uh, article for the day. And then I look it up here. It's the same one. I just keep repeating. So they're all up here. It's two pages. I had to do it six months at a time because there's just too much. The SitePad software, the editing software was getting slow. The website works fine, but the editing software was getting so bogged down. It actually took me a half an hour to get into it that, that this page was so low loaded up with stuff. I mean, it works fine when you're just using it, you know, not, but when you're using it as to edit it in the actual site pad software, this page is like loaded down big time. That's partly because I have these flags, these little GIFs on here and stuff like this. You, you put it, you put your mouse over it. I don't know if it shows up on the screen, but you put your mouse over it, uh, it'll come up with the words, some key words. That took a lot of time to do all that shit. Plus, it took a lot of time to uh, uh, put all these articles up and uh, format them so you can read them nice and easy. Download them. A lot of hours, man. A lot of hours. And somebody puts up a Facebook page and they think like, oh, I put up a Facebook page. <sighs> yeah, right. And, and, you know, they don't even update it after a while. They put it up and they're done. These guys are fucking... These a lot of these people are pretty pretty terrible at some of this shit, you know. So, but I guess everybody's got their different strengths, you know. So, uh, getting the information out to the public is very important because I can tell you Google isn't our friend, man. <laughs> they don't like us, man. I don't know why. Who the hell knows why? I don't know why. Why does Google not like Confederates, man? What's wrong with Confederates? We're okay. We don't do nothing wrong. And don't give me that slavery crap because that has nothing to do with why the war happened. It had nothing to do with it. It had to do with taxes and money. So, taxes and money. So, and uh, these articles will tell you otherwise. Here, General Forrest, civil rights leader for blacks. They tell you that he's a real bad guy. No, that was the 